Hi guys, in today's video we will be installing a pull cord with the recoil kit on a 2020 Summit SP. If you already know how to remove your exhaust, you can already go ahead and skip to 2 minutes in this video. If not, tag along. To remove the exhaust, we're going to need to remove these uh, clamps. Just like so. Then your heat shield is going to come off. Remove both. Grab your spring puller. Remove these two springs. There you go. I'll put a picture for you guys, the bolt right behind here on the spring that we'll have to remove. Now grab your extension when you're with your uh, 10 millimeter socket. You might have to push on this plastic just a bit. You can remove it if you want, but it's uh, just by pushing on it is an easy fix. So we'll take this bolt off. And also disconnect your sensor for the exhaust. So right here, the clip, and then just take it off. Remove your stock exhaust. So just pull back on your pipe just a little bit and pull up. And make sure not to damage anything, especially your sensor, especially your sensor on your exhaust and it comes out just like that All right start with the hardest one on the bottom and right here oh so this one doesn't it doesn't reach in that hole We'll go with a smaller uh, T30. So there we go. Number two. For these guys in the holes, as you'll see in the pictures, because you guys probably can't see what I'm doing right now, but we'll, uh, we'll put the pictures with some arrows or something for you guys to see and last one here pull the bottom of the cover towards you and then push down then it will come out. So pretty much exactly the way it's put on. So your cover is put on like this. You've got the Rotax sign on the bottom. And then you're going to bring the bottom towards you. And push down on this and then it will pop out. I'll go ahead and take a picture for you guys of what it looks like. So I can't get the camera down there. Take a picture with my my phone. So this is what it actually looks like. We can go ahead and install our cover, uh, the one with the recoil. Now your pull cord's gonna go. Sorry, my arm's in the way. Pull cord's gonna go like this behind your chain case it's going to go up we're going to be installing the handle here you'll be pulling it so you want your your cover to go like this now the rotax is uh horizontal your pull cord towards here so we'll get go ahead and insert it in there so you're going to go up put it in There you go. 
So I twisted it a little bit clockwise when I was putting it in. And then it went in just like that. So if you guys are having any uh, problems, so maybe start it on an angle when you're going in. And then turn it just like that. We'll go ahead and fish our cord, pull cord, up behind the uh, chain case. There you go. Now don't pull too hard. You don't want the knot that's on the recoil to uh, undo itself just yet. We'll go put the bolts on before pulling and undoing that knot. There we go. We've got the pull cord pulled through. Going up without any uh, interference. We'll go ahead and put our bolts, our four bolts back onto the cover. Now when you when your cover is, make sure your cover is, is nice and uh, it, it's not loose like this, right? You want to make sure all your holes align. And then you can start putting your uh, four bolts back, back in there. We'll go ahead and do our second one on the bottom here. And don't go too tight on all four right now. Make sure you're putting all four in before you tighten them all up. I'll just uh, put it in a bit. All right. I'll do the other ones before going too far. That could be quite the challenge. There you go. So this one, this one just fell. I'm gonna undo this clip here. I'm gonna this wiring. I'm gonna put it back afterwards. Here we go. Got the third one lined up. And my last one on the bottom here. Now that all four are in, you can go ahead and tighten them up. We will go ahead and install the rope guide. To do so, you're going to need the self-tapping bolts, 10 millimeter socket or wrench as well. And these holes are already milled, but they're not threaded. So we'll get, go ahead and do that. Now that your rope guide is installed, you can go ahead and put on your Clip on speed nut right here. There you go. Go ahead and bring your rope through the uh, handle cover. Now, the way it's going to go in, you're going to put the uh, top edge here under the uh, this part of the rope guide. It's going to clip in, it's going to sit right in here. Just like so. Make sure your, your rope is in properly. There you go. You can go ahead and put your knot in the handle here. Now with this cover being loose, we can go ahead and pull the knot out.
lift it up. There we go. So there you go, loosen it up and then the knot comes apart. Now let it go back in slowly. There we go. Put your cover back on. The top part in first. Just like that. Now you can grab your Torx bolt. Put it in the speed nut. There you go, your pull cord is installed. Now this is, once you'll put your exhaust back on, your covers back on, this will be hidden underneath your uh, right panel. Before installing your exhaust and trying your pull cord, make sure all your wiring is clipped in all together and uh, we'll go test it out outside. I'm gonna go and start it up with the pull start. Open up your panel. Make sure to like and subscribe.